All right, guys, welcome back. So I know for me, just a couple of years ago, I bought my first pair of wool socks, and it was a huge lifesaver for me. Just they're antimicrobial, and they don't sweat as much, they don't smell as much. So I thought it would be a great idea to go through my wool sock collection and show you some of my favorites. I've got all the popular brands out there. So I'm gonna leave all the links um, to the products in the description below. I'm sure you guys have your favorites. You can leave a comment too. And without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the first pair we'll start with is Sockwell. So Sockwell is a really cool brand that specializes really in like therapeutic socks because they have compression built in. So that's really, even though these are wool, a lot of these are wool, um, they're made in USA, but they are, are almost like medical because if you have issues with your feet and people have issues with like blood flow and stuff like that, then these compression socks will do wonders for you. I, I don't even know what they're using. It's some sort of like spandex that they're using that makes it really tight. And so they're actually pretty hard to get on, which is actually unfortunate for me because like kind of in the morning when I'm in a rush, I don't reach for these because they're so annoying to put on. But they do make other like just classic rugged ones. These are like a thinner type of dress. It's like almost their dress sock, but it's still thick enough to wear with like a boot. So they make good everyday socks. Not not my favorite for hiking and stuff like that, but really if, if you have like foot issues and you need compression socks, this is the brand that you should check out, Sockwell. All right, so before I go further, I'm gonna save my favorite socks for the end, so please stay tuned for that. So the next ones I'm gonna look at is Flint and Tinder's uh, wool camp socks. So these are really cool, I have a cool varsity stripe on there. They definitely look cool. They feel nice, it's not a super high thread count, and these were like 18 bucks, so they are on that pricier side. But they have a nice texture to them. They're made in Japan, so you know the quality is, is there. The wool percentage isn't so high, it's like 10% only. So these definitely aren't the best socks you can buy, but I, I do like them and they are very cool. So if you saw my last video, I got to go into Huckberry store in Manhattan, which is really cool and see everything firsthand. So I recommend these, the wool content isn't so high, it's like 10%, so I recommend these if you want just a good looking beater sock that isn't too bulky. All right, so I'm gonna go into two kind of dressier socks, wool socks that I have for a guy who's maybe a little more business casual. So let's start with these. These are 51% wool from Boardroom Socks, Min USA, it's great, I have a relationship with uh, the family who actually makes the socks and they have the factory for something like, I forgot, it's like 100 years, they've owned the same factory in North Carolina. So these are cool, You'll not, you won't see this pattern anywhere else, it's like a Donegal tweed. So you can see they got those rainbow stitches inside that, that just add a, a pop of color. And these are really nice, it's not, also not a super high thread count, but just a really great chunky sock for a guy who needs a, something with a little pop and maybe uh, you know likes funky socks and is in like a business casual setting where these with like loafers or dress shoes a little bit more on the casual side and they look great and they actually are uh, really nice quality and these are another great pair of socks you can wear to work they're actually cashmere blend made in italy from neiman marcus which i thought was really funny because someone just dm me the other day saying where can i get a pair of cashmere socks so they're pretty hard to find these were like 11 bucks they're made in italy not bad at all and so these are they're not going to be super durable because it's not such a high thread count and cashmere is very like it's not so dense of a thread, but it's something that's really luxurious and will keep you warm in the winter time, especially at work. All right, next is a classic brand, Woolrich. So I bought these socks, very, very chunky wool socks. This was my first pair of wool socks that I bought in DSW a couple years back for like 10 bucks. And something that was cool about these is that they're really chunky. So, so if you look inside, you can see the loops. I always recommend looking inside of the sock on the, on the inside to see the thread count because you can see this one has such a big, wide loop, so it almost looks like a towel, a French terry towel. And so, to me, the, the plus side of that is that it helps retain your heat very, very well and absorb moisture, but the downside is that I don't think they're as durable, from my experience, as something with a higher thread count. And these are just a thinner pair of wool socks from Woolrich that I bought from Sierra for like five bucks, but you really can't go wrong with a brand like Woolrich. They're gonna keep you warm in the winter time and they're very affordable, so it's like a no-brainer. Okay, so the next ones we have are a great brand that I've been meaning to get my hands on for a while. These are from American Trench. So, very cool company and something that unique to them that they do is that they put silver thread inside, which is kind of crazy, but it's really for antimicrobial properties. And what I found with these is you can actually see, it's kind of like the lower ones I just showed you. It's got thicker loops, but it's got a higher thread count. These are definitely a premium price sock. They're like 20 bucks, I think. Um, but they don't smell as much as other socks like the Wolotrons. They don't smell as much as other ones. So it could be that's the silver content or just the type of wool, the quality of wool that they're using. These are made in America. So I'd recommend these if you're really looking for a premium wool sock with like that's gonna keep you really warm, I definitely recommend uh, American Trench. All right, the next one we have is called Icebreaker. I picked these up from Nordstrom Rack. And these are another, another brand that's really inexpensive. I think these were like five bucks on sale, on clearance. And I think, I believe these you can throw in the washing machine. So unlike a lot of the other socks that, I, I, that are supposed to be air dried, these are supposedly safe for the dryer. So something that's interesting is that like, 
I find that these don't feel as good. It could be the treatment of the wool. I know I have wool sweaters from Brooks Brothers that are safe for the dryer and they do something to the wool. To, they treat it to make sure that it can go in the dryer and doesn't shrink. So I find that I actually do sweat a lot in these, something to note. They are inexpensive, so kind of a no-brainer, and these are great for like active wear. Like I feel like, again, I, I feel like when they're cheap and they're wool, I can, and, and they keep you warm, I could just wear them to on like a hike and not worry about them smelling or ripping or anything uh, happening to them. These are great for the guy who, who wants something inexpensive, that's wool that's gonna keep them warm, that they don't have to maintain. You don't have to like air dry them or anything like that. You can just throw them in the regular dryer and not worry about them. These are a great option. So just as a disclaimer, when I say that the socks are inexpensive, I'm not talking about MSRP. Like if you look on the website, a lot of these socks probably have much higher MSRPs than what I'm making in the scene because most of these socks I've gotten uh, from like Marshalls or TJ Maxx or Burlington or where did I got these from Nordstrom Rack. So I'm really going by based on where I could find them on sale which is you can always find these kinds of socks on sale, whereas some of these brands like American Trench are almost impossible to find on sale. So very similar to Icebreaker is Smartwool. I've seen Smartwool all over the place. Also a very popular brand. I got these at Nordstrom Rack. Also these were like four bucks. And these, very similarly, you can throw into the dryer. That's why they're called Smartwool. So I like these, but you can see, like even the bottoms, they're, they're pilling a bit. And it's weird, like it could just be this sock but they're very thin on the top and then the bottom has a lot of cushioning. So for me, it's just a, it's a kind of a weird dynamic because it's like between a hiking sock and then like a dress sock because it's so thin on top. But I do enjoy wearing these and it's weird. Like I'd recommend you guys getting different widths and thicknesses for your socks depending on which shoes you wear for them. So I know that I wear these with like dress boots that fit a little bit more snug. I'll wear these with because I know that it's, a, it's like a thinner sock. But these are great, honestly, uh, another beater sock that I, I got for a great deal. And if you can find them in Nordstrom Rack, which you can almost always do on sale, I think these are a really good option too. Okay, so last but not least, we got my favorite pair of socks. My favorite brand is Darn Tough. So I really swear by Darn Tough. Anybody, anytime anybody asks me which socks they should try out, I, for any socks, I always say try out Darn Tough. They have dress socks, they have hiking socks, they have casual socks. And so here I got a bunch of them. These I actually got from J. Crew. And just what makes them so great is the thread count, really. They're made in Vermont. And they use, in my opinion, the best wool. I just feel like they, I, I sweat by far the least in these. I, my socks never smell. I could literally wear them for days on end without washing them. Of course I don't, but I feel like I could sometimes because they just feel like every time they dry and then I you know, pick them up the next morning, they feel like brand new again. They don't smell at all. So if you look on the inside, it's kind of like if I showed you earlier, the Wool Rich and the um, American Trench. You can look at this one has big loops, but it's such a dense, thread count that you can see how close knit they are together that I feel it just adds r ridiculous durability and just comfort to the socks that you know, it almost feels like silky on the inside and so these are also $25 if you get them on the website or on Amazon they're 25 bucks which is a very expensive for a pair of socks however they come with a lifetime warranty so if anything ever happens to them you could just go on their website and you like file a claim whatever and they'll replace these socks for you for your entire life which is unbelievable and to me it pays for itself clearly over time so I have a bunch of pairs I actually get a lot of them from Marshalls and TJ Maxx because I know at least at my local Marshalls, whenever I go like a, once a, a couple times a year, I'll see they get a shipment in for like 12 bucks. They're called slightly irregular. Let me see. This one has it. I know this tan pair has it. And it just means that they're not under the warranty. But for me, I, I, I'm pretty confident that I'll never have to use the warranty. So for me, it's definitely worth it to get the socks at basically half, half off. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. So that was my wool sock collection. Let me know which ones you guys swear by in the description below or if you have any other recommendations. I'd love to hear them. Um, don't forget that the links to all these socks will be in the description too, and I will see you guys later.